You're listening to the Valley Labor Report with David Story and Jacob Morrison. What's happening is what uh, Mr. Vitali was talking about earlier with the authoritarian police um, absolutely being violent towards a group of protesters. And, you know, I watched, I, I wasn't at the, I wasn't at the uh, protest this past week in Huntsville. It was, they, I didn't know, I got an invite like within two hours of it happening, so I couldn't mm-hmm. get over there. But I watched the whole thing on oh, live stream. I think it was on one of the local, uh, one of the local TV shows. And what, what was surprising to me after the fact, looking at what, Huntsville and the mayor came out with and said about, well, there were people in the streets, things like that, was I watched the entire thing, and not once did I see the police walk over there to the protesters and say, look, you have a right to be here, because the truth of the matter is there is no curfew in place. Mm -hmm. It's a public place, you know, but they were in the street. But not once did the police walk over and say, hey, y'all have a right to be here. Just get out of the street. Just right. move away from the streets, stay on the sidewalks, right. do whatever. You know, they, they, it, they, it, it was as if, and I, I believe that's the case. They were, they were more than happy fight. to to fire off the tear mm-hmm. gas and to fire off the rubber bullets. They wanted to do that. I mean, it's like cosplay for them. I mean, mm-hmm. seriously, it's it's uh, you know. I'm gonna get some heat for that maybe, but that's what it is. Like these, the and and you can you can look and see what happened last night at the protests. Last night the protest um, d- uh, dissolved completely peacefully, and the last thing that happened was a dance party, like in, in the park, and there were there were like cops that were dancing around, and that's the 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 reason that the protest last night was so much more peaceful and so much less fraught is completely due to the orientation that the police took towards it if the police had took that attitude towards the protests wednesday night then um nobody would have gotten shot nobody would have gotten arrested nobody would have been tear gassed nothing none of that would have happened but the police were acting like a military occupying force and that these peaceful protesters were their enemy combatants and people have a problem with me saying peaceful because they were like shouting mean words at the cops and like get over yourself okay get over yourself they were peaceful nobody until the cops threw tear gas there was not an instance of property destruction or violence by the protesters some of them were mean some of them said dirty words yeah yeah. But they you were not violent. You want to talk about mean. You know, we talked about it during the break, the fact that, you know, I think any any person in in Alabama or anywhere else as far as that goes, but get pulled over by the police. Yeah. Get pulled over for a speeding ticket. And I, I, I've had a few, not many, th- thank God, as I've gotten older. But uh, in my earlier days, as the police would come up to the car, uh, many times they're they either have their hands on their gun or they have their hands drawn and i'm sticking my hands out the window so i can show that hey <laughs> i am not a threat to you whatsoever right. and they're already on yeah. cue uh extremely mad extremely mm-hmm. mad you know over okay i was i was eight ten twelve miles an hour over the speed limit come on seriously well and now here here's the thing there have been study after study after study about um tickets and speeding and everything like that and there is there's no evidence that ticketing drivers um makes roads safer there's no evidence for it there's just no people drive the the studies have shown that people drive how they feel comfortable and because people are ticketed so rarely like it doesn't affect their behavior the uh, the ticketing is just a revenue source for the city and that's another source of police confrontation with citizens and if we just didn't do that or radically reduced it to like genuinely dangerous behavior on the road because some people are like actually dangerous and they need to be pulled over but like speeding eight or ten miles over the speed limit you know, yeah. come on. If, if you've got to use a radar to, uh, to determine whether somebody's yes. speeding and are they a threat to exactly. the, the people on the road, 
You know, that's exactly. one of the things whenever I was in Germany, we would get out on the Autobahn and people would be driving 100, 120 miles an hour. Everybody's keeping up with traffic. Wasn't that big a deal. And it wasn't that they would not pull you over for speeding because they, they even though there are no speed laws in the, on the Autobahn in Germany, if you're driving recklessly mm -hmm. and, and they can see, oh, you're weaving in and out of traffic, things right. like that, then they will absolutely pull you over and ticket you. But if if the entire traffic is going at 100 miles an hour, which in many cases I've seen mm -hmm. it up around 80 and 90 on I-65 going south, mm -hmm. then okay, that's the normal flow of traffic. Going right. any faster is dangerous. Actually yeah. going any slower exactly. is dangerous as well. There, there has to be, you know, some – there has to be a human element to that that says, no, this was dangerous. But if right. you're sitting on the side of the road in an unmarked car mm -hmm. with, a, with a laser gun just pointing it at people coming down the road – they're not posing a threat to society. Right. And that's and that's like it makes the job more dangerous for like police too presumably because they come up to the ca cars all all like scared and worried and everything and like you could just you could just not do that. <laughs> and, and there's no threat to you. You know, pulling over people that are going a little bit over the speed limit or something. Like that is an unnecessary confrontation with the police, for citizens, and for the police. And that's how, I mean, people are killed for that. Philando Castile, uh, he was killed by a cop because he was asked for identification and he leaned over to get it. And the cop got scared and trigger happy and shot him. Yeah, well, one of our good friends, was, her daughter was killed from the police chasing somebody through the streets of Huntsville. Yes. I mean, a very, a very dear friend... I don't know, she was 18, 19, 20 years old, sitting at a red light, murdered because the police were chasing people through Huntsville. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, we've just got to quit relying on the police to solve all of our problems because they've, they've shown over and over that they're unequipped. This is the Valley Labor Report. We've got one more segment. Stay tuned. Thanks for listening, folks. If you want to keep up with us throughout the week, you can follow us online. We've got a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Valley Labor Report. You can search us on YouTube at The Valley Labor Report. We're on Twitter at Labor Reporters. I'm on Twitter at Jacob M underscore AL. David is on Twitter at Radical Unionist, R-A-D-I-C-L Unionist. If you appreciate our work and want to ensure that we can stay on the air, consider supporting us with a monthly donation on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Valley Labor Report.